Hi guys, it's Molly and I want to quickly show you how to use our new fast figures. So I've got the large fast figure here, but essentially they're very, very similar. So whichever one you're using, um, obviously the smaller figure, you need a slightly smaller quantity of sugar paste. I've just got a few different pastes here. This is the skin colour paste, which I'm going to use to cover most of the body. And then I'm going to put a dress on afterwards. So this has got a little bit of Tylo added to it. You could use a modelling paste or you could use 50-50. So sugar paste and modelling paste, whichever you want to use is fine. And then we've got our length of armature wire, which is going to make the arms. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use the back. And a good way to work out which way the back is, is the heart is at the front. So we're going to use the back and it's got an indentation which should just push the armature wire. And it's standard size armature wire this, so any armature wire would fit in. And I'm gonna do my figure waving. So we want one arm up like that, and then one arm we'll just do like that. We can always move it around a bit more. But any position you wanna have it in is fine. Then I've got a spray bottle of water. You could brush it with water if you prefer, but I'm just gonna spray it just to get a little bit of moisture on there. You could also use some edible glue if you want, but um, I find the spray bottle is absolutely fine. So I'm going to start with my legs. And I've got some this peachy colour. And I'm going to roll out two balls. Obviously, you can make your legs as thick or as thin as you want. Actually, that might work for both legs. So I'm going to roll out a sausage that's twice the length of the legs. And I'm going to flatten it out this that should cover both legs so essentially what we're doing at this stage is we're fleshing it all out so I'm going to start by wrapping the legs around around the fast figure legs and then at the back especially if you're not going to put any trousers on so I'm going to give her just bare legs on the, and then we're going to do a dress but if you were going to do trousers then obviously you wouldn't use a flesh color you use whatever color you want to use for the trousers and maybe make them a bit thicker depending on what sort of trousers they've got on you could also sort of flesh out a bit on the bum to make the bum a bit wider so again if you need to spray them again you obviously can do that so i'm going to push it round so the reason why I roll out sausage and then squash it flat is because we don't want thin pieces. We want like a nice thick piece of paste. So this has gone a bit dry already, so let's get another spray. And the water bottle's really good for spraying purposes. Just because it doesn't give too much. You could also put some alcohol in there if you want it to evaporate quicker. Um, I think water's just fine. So we can blend these joins if you want, if you can see with the Dresden tool, we can blend all that together. But I'm just going to show you quite quickly how I do it. So that's another leg. I'm going to keep turning it around just so I can see because otherwise I'll be doing it sort of backwards. Then I'm going to start on the chest torso area. So I want to flesh this out. Actually we'll put just to make it all fit together. We'll do another flattened out sausage and we'll roll that around there for the hips. Now this bit you won't see because the dress is gonna cover it. So don't worry about wasting your time with blending all that together because you won't see it. But essentially it's now got a bit of more of a hip shape. And then again, we're gonna roll out a ball. And it depends like how thick, like how, I suppose how, slim or not so slim you want your figure to be but essentially I'm going to roll out a piece that's going to go on here so you can sort of see once it's on I might think oh that's probably okay if you wanted to do like bigger boobs we'll, we'll do some boobs to show you as well I'm just going to stick that on flesh it out and you can see there there's a few bits that are looking a bit raggedy but I would say any bits that you're going to cover don't worry about blending same again with the back 
you're just rolling out pebbles and squashing them into just flat pieces like you would do with clay it's exactly the same thing so this is going to be the back and then i'm this is going to be a girl figure so i'm going to just pinch it in at the waist a little bit give that a nice sort of hourglass figure if you were doing a child figure it wouldn't have that same shape it'd be more of a straight up and down but we'll make her a little bit curvy i think the boobs we can do let's do them moderately large we'll roll two are they the same size yeah that's the same size and again we're going to cover these so we don't have to worry about blending them but if she is going to have a bit showing on the top then you would blend them like this but this bit doesn't need but oh they're quite big actually <laughs> okay them together. Then we're going to do the arms. I'm just going to do all the flesh coloured bits first. We'll do the arms. So again, we want a smaller version of what we did for the legs. So I'm going to roll out a sausage. You could do this two ways. You could either thread it on or you can wrap it round. I find wrapping it round a bit easier. So I'll cut that. That's not bad. A bit more spray. And I'm going to wrap that around the arm. And then where we've got this little bit left at the end, I'm just going to pinch it. Like that. Blend it in a bit, but we're going to cover that up. If you weren't going to cover it up, then I would suggest you use more of a kind of modeling chocolate or a modeling paste just to get that really nice blending seam in there but you could just use normal fondant just straight out of the packet because we've obviously got this nice strong sturdy skeleton so this arm as well and you can see at the back here i'm just doing it nice and quick to show you i'm not going to make it super neat but essentially I'm going to pinch that bit there and do a thumb. We'll just do our hands like this. If you wanted to cut the fingers in, then you just snip them. But I'm not going to do that. This I am, I just found some scissors. So you snip the fingers in. One, two, three. And we'll splay them out a little bit. Then, same on the top, one, two, three. Now she's got a nice waving hand. So it, sometimes it helps to um, get a nice photo of a figure. Then you can help get the, the shapes right. And the position that you want the arms to be in as well, obviously. We can change the positions as much as possible. Let's wrap a little bit more around the neck. So you can do, you could either wrap it or you could go straight on with the neck. I'm going to wrap it, I think, just because the hair's going to cover the back so there'll be no joint. The neck. Then, this is where our polystyrene ball is going to come in. Now, you don't have to use a polystyrene ball. If you wanted to use just um, sugar paste on top for the head, you can do that. What I would say is you might just need to let your neck set. Um, otherwise, it's going to be really heavy. Squash it down. So let's put a head on. For the head, again, because the hair is going to cover the back of the head, I'm going to avoid covering it completely. Oh, my ball's rolled away. So I'm just going to do a nice pebble shape. Now you can use moulds for the face as well. If you're using a mould, then you might not need the polystyrene ball. I like to use um, a face mould I've got from Zoe's Fancy Cakes, a really good face mould, if you want to use that one. But there's loads of different moulds you can get, but that's my favourite. So I've rolled out this little pebble shape. 
maybe it, oh that's not too bad because it's going to wrap around and I mean depending on how cartoony or realistic you're going with your model if you're going cartoony then the head's going to be a little bit bigger so I'm just going to wrap that round this is going to become the head so I'm just going to put the figure to one side for a minute just pretend I've blended that in if you really want to take your time then you absolutely can do that that's fine so I'm going to do the face and then I'm going to stick it on and then I'll do the hair once it's all on. So we'll do the face first. I'm just going to sit it there. And I do really quite simple faces if I'm doing just a simple cake because they're nice and fast. And these are fast figures after all. Emphasis on fast. So what I want is for people to be able to make a really nice figure for a cake without the stress of having to leave it overnight or having to spend hours and hours on it. So I've just marked those indentations for eyes just with the wide end of the Dresden tool. Give it a quick spritz and then, is that white? No, where did I put the white? Lost it already. Uh -huh. What do I ever put that white? Oh, how I? Oh, it's back in the bag. For the tiniest bit of white I needed and I couldn't find it. So I'm going to roll out two really small pieces of white and they're going to go in the indentations. They're going to look on the eyes. Push them in. Then I like to do just a really simple nose. So it's just a tiny piece of the flesh colour. In a little sausagey shape, and I'm just going to stick it on. And then I think we'll give her a little smile just with the thin end of the Dresden. Because again, we're going simple here, but when it's finished, it's really effective, and you can still personalize it. So you could do, you know, copy someone's hair color or hairstyle if you wanted to. Um, so I think just for the pupils of the eyes, I like these. The small black sugar pearls, probably the best. So let's give her green eyes. So oh, I'm a bit like them. Or do brown eyes. So I'm going to make her looking off to one side, I think. The little balls of black, of brown. I mean, they're really tiny. They're like uh, two millimetres or something. Stick those in. She looks a bit, she looks a bit mischievous at the moment. And then we're going to stick a black pearl into there. And that's quite an easy, quick way of doing the eyes, I think. Make sure the black pearl goes right in so it's not kind of bulging out. And then we should give her some lipstick, I think. It's quite a little bit of pink. And I'm going to roll out just a little piece to go underneath like that. You can use edible glue if it's not sticking by itself, but you tend to find that most sugar paste does stick without it. So she's got her little lips there. You could put a little shape in there if you wanted to. I'm going to do just a little bit of eyeliner. This is why I'm making a female figure because obviously with a male figure there's a lot less detail because they wouldn't have, you know, the makeup and the lipstick and stuff. Well, they might. This one's not. So I'm going to put the, that over the eyes. Oh, this is where I should probably put some edible glue on, but if you can do it without, it's much better because you don't get the the shine from it. Mine always end up with very heavy makeup on. Probably personal choice, but. Better to do it when your figure's not. Oh, right, I want a really far away spritz it. It's better to do it not on the figure and then add the head just because it's easier. It's easy to work on it when it when you're looking down on it, or generally speaking, it is. And then because I can't help myself, 
We'll do some lashes while we're here. So let's just wing that one out to match the other one. And we're going to do some really fine. You can also paint these on if you prefer. So, so as essentially we're just rolling out, taking that pointy end off when you can. And again, this is just normal out of the packet sugar paste. You could use modeling paste. You could add a bit of Tylo in if you prefer. Or if I always think if you're living in a country where it's quite hot or having a hot summer, which we don't have many of here, but if you're having one of those, then you might need, oh, she's looking quite cute actually. So we can shape her chin a little bit if you wanted to. Just kind of play about with her, see what looks best. And then a little smile. So you can see there, she's looking really cute. I think she needs some eyebrows. Uh, hair, well, I have brown hair because I've got brown. So same again, but a lot bigger than the eyelashes. It's going to be your brow. Where you cut it off, that's going to be the middle of the eyebrow, if that makes sense. Try and make them match ish. So now we can bring our figure back and the head. There you go, that, that's the polystyrene you can hear. Should fit right on, that looks nice. She's looking into the camera. Nice, okay. So she needs, well, she would need ears, but I don't know whether you'd be able to see her ears because of the hair. But if you were doing the ears, you'd just make two little balls and then, I'll tell you what, we'll put the ears on anyway, just so you can see. The ears tend to go in line with the eyes, generally. And then we can texture them with a Dresden. So she's looking good. She's got no hair yet and she's got no clothes. So I think we'd best put some clothes on her save her dignity. So you'll see that the bottom of the clear fast figures is clear obviously so you don't really need to cover that when you put it on a cake. I'm going to give her some little pink shoes I think. So just little uh, kind of oval shapes. And I'm just going to stick them on like that. You can put the backs of the shoes on as well in the same way. So again, piece that join up a bit more, just to cover the back of the shoes. She's got quite big feet, but I've got quite big feet. So. I mean, I might come to detail those shoes a bit, they're a bit plain. I might put some bows on them or something in a minute. Just join them up like that. I'm trying to show you how fast it can be. So we spritz the body front and back. And then I think we will go for purple. I'll tell you what, let's go for a pink top and a purple um, skirt. So for the top, I'm going to roll out some pink. Don't worry about this edge because we're not going to see it because it's going to be covered by the skirt. But essentially, we want to just cut a big, nice, big strip along there. And this is where you become a bit of a clothes designer. So I think we need to cover up a bit of this boobiness. Well, they are big then. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. She's going to get back eight with them. So let's just, this is a really soft paste that I'm using. Again, you can use a modeling paste. And I'm going to trim the back. Oh, she's a... She's definitely a fuller-figured lady, let's just say. But 
we're going to put quite a lot of hair on the back, so it's always good to balance out the weight. You don't want it to be weighted loads in one way. So let's put some sleeves on, I think. We'll do a little sleeve. Um, also helps to cover the any joins you might have. So I've got two sort of torpedo shapes there. I'm going to flatten them out. And these are going to be like little sort of ruched sleeves. Let's stick that on. You can take your time with this. You don't have to do it this fast. You can take your time and make it nice and neat if you want to. Again, sleeve on the back. I think a hair is going to cover that back seam, otherwise I'd neaten it up. Rush that with the thin end of a Dresden, whatever modeling tool you've got. So now we can use the pink, uh, sorry, the purple to roll out a nice skirt shape. So I think I'm going to do like quite a full, quite a full skirt, but like a shortish one so you can see her legs a bit. Rolling out. That's quite a nice size. And then I'm gonna just trim it just to get that nice clean edge here. Could even roll it out again actually. Let's roll it out again, make it nice and fine because then it won't look too bulky. And then I'm gonna sort of pleat it so I'm going to gather it at the top from the top going down like that and then I'm going to press on just this top edge this is what it's going to do is kind of seam it all together it's sort of a skirt shape and then if you have a knife you can use a knife trim this off this is going to be the skirt essentially oh nice okay that looks nice so let's just spray this with a tiny bit of water if anything that's just a hair out of paintbrush there if anything the um Always more interesting. So you could either now go around and blend it in really nicely. That's not too bad. I was gonna say it might need a belt, but I don't think it does. Let's put one on anyway, just to show you an example. And I think we should go with this nice pastel colour again. So we've got this nice pale green. I'm going to make a real simple, I think I'll do a bow and I'll put a little bow on it just to, because I like putting bows on things. And I can see I'm trying to do all this in one take, so that's why there's little bits of other colours everywhere. Again, we're going for fast, with fast figures. That's added a nice bit of contrast. You sort of end up like feeling like a clothes designer after a while. Nice. And then the bow, I would just do two little teardrops like that. Stick those on. And then a tiny bit of detail. In the centre piece, like that. I mean, there's a lot of detail you can add if you wanted to. I'm going to add, I think she should have a little necklace on. So let's just make, I'll tell you what. Mm. I'm going to say do some, we could stick some on, but I'll just roll them because otherwise we might have to start getting a little glue on it. It's already nice and sticky. So we'll give her just a little pearl necklace.
And we'll stick them around the neck. I'm not going to go all the way around the back because I think her hair is going to cover the back. And if you want to save time, you want to make sure you're not doing any work that's not going to be seen. So just do the bits that you can see. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Now we've got some brown, so we're going to go brown for the rest of the hair. What I like to do is add the hair in sections and then we can detail it. So for the back of the head, I'm just going to roll out one piece just to cover the majority of the back of the head. So it's just a nice flat piece. You can do the hair as long as you want, obviously. So that's just going to cover the back. And then I'm going to add other pieces on. So what I think we should do is add, let's roll out lots of long sausages. I'm going to flatten them a bit. And where you get this natural point, that's going to be the end of the hair. So obviously if you're making a somebody specific, then you want to look at that person and what their hair looks like but we're doing a kind of imaginary practice run so we're just doing nice mid-length wavy brown hair and we might put a bow in the hair because I can't help myself I'll show you how you can texture it in a minute just remember everybody has a parting where the hair starts from and then what you can do is you can just take this modeling tool and just add a bit more texture to it if you want to and then I'm going to go around and because we've already covered the back we don't need loads of hair at the back but we can add some anyway we could do a bit longer at the back I think So because this is nice soft paste, it's not modelling paste, it's just normal fondant with nothing added to it. Make that seem a bit neater. I like her, I think she'd be a teacher. Although she might need a slightly less low cut top on if she was a teacher, but I just want to get that vibe from her. She's like a teacher sort of vibe. You could spend ages texturing all the hair, or you could do smaller pieces, but you get quite a lot of definition and movement with this one. You can see where we've got the weight now. There is some flex in the in the fast figure, but that is to be expected. And as the paste dries, there'll be less flex in it. So let's put a nice little headband on. I think we'll go, let's go for green again, because we're not going to use loads of green. If we do, oh, I need to just wipe my hands. I'm getting brown and everything now. So just a nice little piece going across the top. Maybe we'll just leave it at that. Maybe it doesn't need to be a bow. Maybe it just be a nice headband. This is where you start going real kind of fashion with it. And then I've got a little bit of brown left. So I'm going to do just one more piece. And I'm actually going to stick that. You know, it's more of a little fringe kind of. And then I'm going to. It's nice, isn't that? So it's super cute. So we could do, just with whatever's left, I would say a little earring. Let's give her a matching set. And then she's ready to, it's a bit big that one. <laughs> Slightly smaller earring. And then we can do a little, maybe a bracelet on this one. And if you wanted her to be holding anything, I would set let it set first, put a, a little cocktail stick into support or stick the armature wire coming out and then she could 
be holding something. Maybe we could give her a little bag. What colour bag would she have? I think she'd have a pink bag. So just a little square bag. And then when you come back, I like to do these. I mean, they will flex, but they won't fall over, if that makes sense, because of the base. So if you have got a day to let them set, then great. Especially if you put some Tylo in them, if you're doing a particularly heavy, heavy cake. But they will be fine um, as they are. So let's just do a tiny little... Just a little bit of green, just to spread that green throughout. Maybe it's like a sock, actually. Let's do a little green socks. She ended up with quite a strange outfit on, but... I just wanted to show you how fast the fast figures really are. And there she is. I think we'll just add a tiny bit of pink to the cheeks. Just with a pink um, dust and then there she is she's ready to hit the town I love her I think she's super super cute so thank you so much guys um, I hope you've enjoyed that fast fast figure demonstration and how simple it is to do and I'd love to see all your fast figures so get them sent over to me at mollyscreaturecreator.com or any of the social media channels and I'd love to see what you've made so thank you very much, guys. Bye.